with everything going on, I thought it'd be good to look at some ways to avoid the coronavirus with an old instructional video called Joan Avoids a Cold. This is Joan getting ready for school. Why don't you make yourself useful and go buy mommy some cigarettes? Choose the right clothes on a cold day. The temperature is 40. Or 4 degrees Celsius if you're a communist. She will need her snowsuit if she wishes to keep well for the Dutch festival. You guys have a Dutch and festival you go to, right? That's Joan's relatable. Brother. They choose wraps to keep all of their body warm. Come here, you took all your pills, right? You're not hiding anything under your tongue? Mother is good to see Jim looking so well this morning. Their color is good. You mean they're their white? Eyes alert. They're Don't forget to stuff your bra, to Joan. Mother needs to get another supply of paper handkerchiefs. Mother needs amphetamines just to get through the day. Jim's friend George is eating an apple as he waits for them. What a fucking that moron. Wise, no thank you, Joan. Never share another's food. George has forgotten something. Yeah, he something forgot to not look directly into the camera. It's lucky for George that Joan has an extra tissue to lend him. So never share food, but it's okay Some to share tissues. Some children learn to jump or go around puddles. But George wades right into trouble. Things aren't looking good for his MacArthur Fellowship. After wiping your nose, touch this as many people May, as possible. Joan's teacher. George and Joan are glad to be in school. That poor kid is They're not glad to be in school. Tom has brought the thermometer in so that the children can guess what the weatherman doll should wear today. I borrowed this from Andy Dick. Oh no. A snowsuit and galoshes to keep Voiced by Tom Hanks. It was hard to guess today. But How did I get here and why is there so much blood? Did mother tell him what to wear. George, you forgot something more important than your handkerchief. You your seizure to meds. Cover your sneeze. And cold germs travel on your sneeze or cough, you know. And that's why, Tommy, we need to close the borders. Why cold germs can Next sneezer gets his throat slit. Cold germs can fly eight feet to another child's nose. No, it's fine. It's not like I was eating that or anything. People who put fingers into their mouths make it easy for cold germs to come to them. No, not that way, George. Go no, George, don't gently, eat it. Without pressing the opening of the nostrils closed. What's with the creepy That's boy better. just staring at her? Oh, and your feet are wet. It's easy to catch cold when your body is chilly. Yeah, get the kid with the, the sniffles out, but no one's worried about young Jeffrey Dahmer. The nurse is examining Mary after her cold. All right, who's next? I heard something about a skull tumor. Oh, dear God! you from serious infections that follow colds. Now, George, who sent you in here? This man said I might be catching a cold. Well, what do you think? I think I should have practiced my lines. Well, did you sleep pretty well last night, and did you feel like getting up this morning? Did your breakfast taste good? Don't patronize me, you old candy striper. Had my breakfast. I had an apple on the way. I'll blow your nose, George. Oh, not so hard, gently. No pressure on the opening. It's the same thing she says about the giant thermometer. Oh, your throat. Open wide. These kids in their grills. All right, now you sit down, and I'll take her. You moisten your lips and hold it under your tongue. And when I say your tongue, this time I mean it, George. Oh, your feet are wet too, George. I saw something and now I'm going to say something. Hello, is it Mrs. Powell there? Yes. Hi, Mrs. Powell. Mrs. Have you heard of the Tuskegee experiments? George came in to see me a few moments ago with a cold. Yes, his throat is quite red and his feet are wet too. Jesus, I guess wet feet are the new leprosy. At home in bed. Well, just a minute, please. Holy Jesus! Yes, his temperature is 99.8. What is that? Okay, the poster says bodies should stand erect and look at her pants. What is going on? Oh, well, that would be nice of you to call for him. Yes, he'll be. Right You're seeing this, right? It's not just me. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Joan must learn to take responsibility for keeping herself well. This weather chart keeps Joan alert to weather changes as she marks snowy or Very good, days. that's his snow. 37. Dressing this weather doll for outdoor weather helps Joan know what to wear herself. 
Okay, seriously, why is Joan an adult woman? And why does she only understand clothing via doll? Keeping fit, subheadline body wastes. They plan better health practices for home and school. At school, Joan's committee keeps the washroom attractive with soap sponges, brushes, and signs. Others keep the closets neat with boxes for rubbers and hangers for clothes. I'm all for sex education, but aren't they a little young for boxes of rubbers? Or fresh air. Action. Now just wash your hands and don't look at the cows, son of a... Those are jobs Joan and Jim could be learning to do at home, too. On Saturdays, they left to help us plan what we're going to do. I'm so glad to get this health record sheet. Your check on I guess that's one way to memorize your lines. Plan a corrective health program at home. I'm going to find out what kind of health practices we use. And I must check on our equipment to see if we have the material. This poor woman's talking to her cat. Thank you for some grand ideas, Miss May. I'm going to visit school again some afternoon when I call for Joan. May I? Okay, I cheated on that one. Next morning, Joan's mother is inspecting the health materials in her home. Each one in the family needs a separate towel and washcloth. Mother has one for Jim and another for Joan. Each child gets its own litter box. Joan's father made a box for her to stand on. It's no fun washing if you have to stretch or can't see into the basin. Then I got the shotgun and kapow! Each can have his own cup now. It prevents catching another's cold. Why, Jim? Why to play Jim, gone? Christian Bale lost 140 pounds. Father has taught Joan to spit into the toilet. Because father's a fucking psychopath. Here are the spoons for your cod liver oil, Joan. Can you say that, Joan? Spoons. You know, strong bodies can't always keep us from catching cold, but they help us resist a serious illness that may follow colds. And they help you attract a mate since it's illegal for you to go to college. While you're eating. Jim must wash his hands after he pets his dog. But he won't have to go upstairs, as father has arranged a washstand down. Oh, must be nice. Remember to wash. What's the trouble with Jim? He didn't like his breakfast. Oh, that's real nice. Blame the kid for your cooking. He's cross and tired this morning. His throat isn't very red, but his eyes look queer. Oh, God, here we go. Mother can watch him and keep him warm. Joan's mother can't go to the Kermis now, so Joan must take the paper bags for the party. That's what I always say, you can't have a party without paper bags. Mother must see that Jim covers his coughs and stays away from others. She must sterilize his dishes by boiling them thoroughly in water. He must stay away from things made for girls, like My Little Pony, and wash things made for boys, like My Little Pony. She must wash her hands. We must always wash hands clean. If you're going to spread your hands all over like a mongrel. Joan takes off her coat, uses plenty of soap and a good lather. She rinses her hands well. Always wash your hands for at least one second. Go on, get out of here. You too. The kindergarten children are getting ready for the kermis. It's best to go to the toilet and wash hands first. Or if you're Joan's dad, go to the now toilet Joan and spit out your off. toothpaste. Isn't that right, you sick bastard? Pack the bags for the kermis. The kermis has started. Joan Is this the thing the with the Santa Claus who eats kids? They learn that flowers, like children, need plenty of sunshine, water, good food, and... And constant submersion and feces. Joan's friends are selling cheese. You know, like they do at a Dutch circus or whatever the hell this is. A good time, while poor George stays in bed. I wish I could make cheese. I've made Jim miss the Kermis too, and Jim is restless in bed. Now he knows it pays to avoid people with colds. But Jim's friends are enjoying the Kermis. They learn that Dutch people are clean. He learns that Dutch people are clean? I don't know, this is starting to take on a real Zig Heil sort of feel. their own vegetables and flowers. They keep well. Look at them all in close, holding hands like a bunch of rubes. It's like they've never lived through a global pandemic. Now, do you know why George and Jim missed the Kermis? It's because of what you do alone in your room.